Advent Echo Day 7, uh, solved with SQL. Pretty easy today. Uh, the puzzle is that you're given a set of horizontal positions of crabs, uh, and you're trying to figure out the least amount of movement necessary for them all to be on the same point. So 16 could go to 2, and it costs 14 movement, which uh, equates exactly to fuel. 1 could go to 2, costs 1, etc. Um, you're trying to figure out which position would create the least amount of total fuel between all the crabs, uh, and in this answer it's 2. Uh, so here's my answer. Uh, we copy the input raw, just a single line of input into an input table. Uh, and then the answer is pretty simple uh, SQL today. So uh, the first thing we do is turn the inputs into rows in, a, in uh, a table. So you can see that the raw input format is just the a single line separated by commas. And if we run this query on it, where we query from the inputs and then do a lateral uh, split to table with a comma, um, we could just turn that into an int. And then we have a list of integers, which is, I've called x, because that's the crab's x position, the horizontal position. With that, uh, I find the minimum x and maximum x, because that's the farthest left or farthest right crabs could go. So if you take the table we just created by creating the integer rows and then just doing a simple min and max query over that you could get the smallest x and the largest x so we know crabs could go to zero on the left uh, and 16 on the right and then once we have the bounds uh, this is a pretty simple standard i think the most standard of any day so far sql query in order to figure it out because all we're doing is grouping by the target location that the crabs can move and then just getting the sum of the distance from their starting point as the fuel cost. So we select from the bounds uh, and the position, and then we do this uh, lateral um, generate series. So what generate series does here is creates a row from including and from min x to max x. So we have a row for zero to 16 as the target. So that's what we're grouping by. So for each area, um, zero to 16, let's say we're moving to, to place number 16, we do 16 minus their current location, say it's 14, to get 2, uh, and then summing uh, all the crabs, moving their distance as the fuel cost. Uh, we have to do the absolute value, because say you're on position 4 and you move to position uh, 2, then that would be negative 2, but absolute value 2, you still move to distance of 2, so the fuel is 2. Um, and then once you do that, then you have the answer pretty much here. You just have to order by fuel, and if we do that, then we see that the answer for the sample input is two, which matches the problem. It's the cheapest place to move to. For part two, uh, the only change they make, it's we're trying to find the same thing, the cheapest place to move to, but the only change they make is that for each additional step uh, that they have to take, it costs one more fuel. So the first movement costs one fuel, the second step costs two fuel, three, etc. cetera. Um, this uh, is sort of like, a, I mean, I think it's like elementary or middle school math, where if you do 1 plus 2 plus 3, uh, the answer for n is n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Um, so my answer was pretty simple. Here's the part 2 answer. So we take the position, the same thing we did before. We find the bounds, same thing we did for part 1. Um, we now, instead of finding the answer, we find the distance. So we, we were doing the sum before grouping. So we got rid of the grouping. And now we just find the distance to every single target location for every single crab. Um, and then that's, otherwise that's the same. We're just not doing the sum anymore. And then this is the new part for part two where we're calculating the fuel. Um, and the fuel is just going for each target, um, selecting the target, and then doing the n, n plus one over two formula to get the fuel. Uh, and then the final result is to do a group by target, um, sum the fuel, um, now that we have this this sum here, and then order by the answer, and the cheapest one uh, is the answer. And so if we run the whole SQL file, we can see for part two, we get the answer is five, or the target's five, and the answer is 168, which matches the sample problem. I think overall, this was the easiest day for SQL because finding things like sums and mins and maxes uh, grouped by certain things is really bread and butter SQL. Um, so this was a really uh, simple one.